We are Ham Radio. Okay, so we're at 462.700. We're going to start with GMRS, because I noticed this thing does GMRS. And we're going to start it at low power. 462.700 at low power. Oh, my gosh. It's 8.8 .8 watts at low power. So 462.700 at mid power has gone down to 6.5 watts. That's interesting. Now 462.700 at high power. 10 watts. 10 point. Well, now it's 9.9, 9.8, 9.9. You get the picture. It's about 10 watts. Good grief. That's all right. Okay. So 444.000 at low power. 3.75 watts. 444.000 at mid power. 7.1 watts. Frequencies on point. 444.000 at high power. 9.8 watts. <laughs> this thing's a hoss. Okay, so let's start at low. So 146.52 at low power. 4.5 watts. 4.5 watts at low power. So 146.52 at medium power. 8.4 watts at medium power. Wow. 146.52 at high power. See it right there. 10.08 watts. Wow. So, in all my searches throughout this thing as I've had it so far, I discovered something. Two, two, five, zero, zero, zero. It does 220 also. So 225.000 at low power. 3.57 watts. 225 at 000 at medium power. 3.5 watts. 225 at high power. 6.5 watts, y'all. Now, I can't speak to spectral purity because I don't have a tiny SA or any spectrum analyzer for that matter. But... Wow. So let's see if it has aircraft band. And it does, but I'm betting you we can't transmit on it. And we get a beep. So there's your power test, y'all. Okay, so since the box that it came on, it said the word chirp, I automatically assumed that chirp would work with this model of radio right away. And apparently it's a little too new. There was a UV25. There was a UV25 Pro. This is the UV25 Plus. So I had to go to BeofangRadio.com and downloaded the actual programming software, and I found it. So let's go over there now. And here it is. Automatically, I go to settings and port number, and I know that my programming cable is on port 5. And it's got a window right here to so pick your radio, basically. Pick the model. Well, there is no UV25 Plus in there, so I chose the UV25 Pro, and I hit read and start, and voila, it read the radio. It's like, okay, that's cool with me. There's finish. And all in, right in here is all the channel information. And you can see where it says bank, and it's named zone one. So the zones and the banks are the same thing. We called them banks way back in the day. Then later on, somebody came out with the flash word of zone. So now they're zones instead of banks, but they're still banks. Okay, so we've got channel information, which is this here. And we've got VFO mode which you can set some basic settings in your VFO if you want to, which is, that's what I actually have it on right now. Radio function, these are some of the functions of the radio. Squelch, timeout timer, save mode, timeout timer alarm, which comes in really handy because, uh, you know, let's say three seconds before I reach 180 seconds, it's gonna say, hey, you need to shut up now. There's that pilot tone, which we really don't really use, and there's side tones for ID. Tail clear, and it's basically a tail squelch eliminator, but, you know, it doesn't always work that well on any model that I've noticed. Some of them do, some of them don't, but we'll, we'll see how this one does. Power on display type is showing the logo, or I can make it say the battery voltage. You can turn the beep 
on and off or turn the make it voice or beep or both there's the roger beep we've already covered a little bit of that the language scan mode alarm mode is local or send tone or send code sound alarm is on key lock fm broadcast is enabled or disabled key audio lock I'm sorry, key auto lock is off. I don't want it to automatically lock my keypad. Some people do. It comes in handy from time to time. Menu quit timer. So after 30 seconds of no activity, the menu will back out into the regular screen. And the backlight timer is light, which I it means it's on all the time. Or you can set it to anywhere from 5, 10, 15, or 20 seconds. Backlight, oh, I'm sorry. And then the send ID delay. I, this is something I do not do. QT save mode. I'm not sure what that is unless it's when it's scanning and capturing frequencies in a bank scan or in a capture scan. Side key one short is FM radio. Channel A display is name. Where's channel B display? Oh, there it goes. Okay, VFO mode, VFO. Repeater tail clear, 500 milliseconds. Enable menu reset, Vox switch, Vox level, Vox delay, GPS switch on or off, and the GPS type. I always send it for both. Okay, so then we can go to can go to DTMF. And it's also got this nice little address book in here. And as you remember from my previous video with the UV17 Pro GPS, we had to come in here and set that a certain way. So this radio should be 101 and it can communicate with 102 103 104 so we'll get we'll get around to that but i wanted to put some labels in here and show you what they look like so anyway we will call it gmrs hub and let's go ahead and put in my repeater call it 58176 all right and let's write it and as you can see here, it goes into programming mode and reboots. So let's switch this back to go back to VFO mode. I'm sorry, memory mode. Nope, that's GPS. I always forget that. And it switches the VFOs. Channel mode. There's channel mode. And there's Two, those channels I put three. in. And you notice they they you know, they did it once again. You can see the channel label text is very small. Frequency mode. But when you're in frequency mode, the numbers are quite big. So it's channel mode. It's whatever your heart desires. I won't be able to hit that from here with the tiny little antenna. They send this with it too. It was really neat. Uh, but <laughs> My repeater's a long ways from here, so I need the bigger antenna for that. And I was able to hit it from downstairs. We're talking 17 miles as the crow flies over hills and dales and all kinds of smells. So what did y'all think? The Bale Fang UV25 Plus. It's kind of nifty. It's a big sucker and it's durable. Puts out a lot of wattage and it has a very aesthetically pleasing menu and the GPS sharing of coordinates and location that's a nice little addition too. I don't know about its spectral purity because I don't have that ability, but I'm actually thinking about sending it to a friend and we will test the spectral purity. Why not? Don't I mean, get me wrong. I love the occasional Baofang radio, especially the uh, DM1701A. Don't know about its spectral purity either, but we'll get to the bottom of that. But meanwhile, check it out. It's the Baofang UV25 Plus, about 10 watts. And uh, it's a hoss, a big, big battery and uh, the GPS sharing of your location to other similar radios is a very neat feature as well. So check it out. Hey folks, I hope this video helped you out in any way. Please consider becoming a channel member. It really helps the channel move forward and it helps uh, bring better content to you. So consider that and see what you think. Hey folks, this is Freddie Mac, your ham radio crusader saying 73 is wishing all the good signals to be yours and ham on y'all.